uh, people, a lot, 18, 19 of us of, from different parts of this great nation and beyond, we could join together and we can enter this new month with worship in our hearts, oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, the months may change. Uh, we are no longer in the month of April and now we are in May, but your character doesn't change. That's why we have this godly practice, oh Lord. The times may change, the seasons may change, the date may change. Uh, Lord, uh, the time zones change. Oh, Lord, everything around us is changing, but there's somebody who's constant, who does not change, and that is you. Your character doesn't change. You remain the holy, holy, holy God. You remain the God who loves us with an everlasting love. You remain the God who is sovereign. No one can ask you, what have you done? What is this that you're doing? We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We want to praise you. We want to worship you, Master. You're the only wise God. Lord, you, you're the source of, Lord, wisdom. We want to praise you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to worship you. Thank you for, uh, Lord, bringing us to this new month. And even as we meditate on your word, and maybe we'll have time for, Lord, for maybe one or two testimonies because some of them I feel are wanting to share. I pray that you'll bless that time as well. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Now for a brief meditation of God's word. All right. It's the uh, election season. Uh, so I remember, I, I just read this uh, these lines by the week's journalist, Al Prasannan, he's, he's, he's quoting G.K. Chesterton, G.K. Chesterton. Okay, every politician is essentially or an emphatically a promising politician. So every politician is a promising politician. That's what G.K. Chesterton said. Uh, more so in an election season when they hunt us in packs and flood us with promises that make us forget their performances. So we are surrounded with politicians who flood us with promises that make us forget their performances. But God is not like that. And I believe the promises that we have been meditating uh, as we switch from the old month to a new month, uh, the old year to a new year, what God has promised is very unlike the promises of our politician who are in an election season. These promises of uh, will be fulfilled all right so the the te the the promise verse uh for us uh this month as i went to god and today is also may day uh where we celebrate the uh, human labor uh, where we salute hard work uh, and all of those things uh comes from a bible character and we read about him in Esther chapter 10, and this Bible character's name is Mordecai. His name is Mordecai. So in Esther chapter 10 and verse 2, uh, the Bible talks about him. Let me quickly turn to Esther chapter 10. If you have your Bibles, uh, you can turn to the book of Esther, and uh, we will read uh, from Esther, okay? Uh, Esther chapter 10, verse 2. Uh, my wife will read that quickly, and uh, we will get off, uh, get moving in this message. In fact, yes. Esther chapter 10, verse 2. Yes. All facts of power and might, okay. together with the full account of the greatness of Mordecai, mm. whom the king had promoted, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Media and Persia? Okay. Esther Esther chapter 10, verse 2. Okay, here is a man who became great thanks to the blessing of God. Uh, and then uh, verse, okay, verse 3, 10, 3 as well. Mordecai was a Jew, was second in rank, okay, to the king's uh, sex, which means uh, here was a gatekeeper, here was a security personnel, here was a watchman, who became second in the nation. So here is a blessing of promotion, okay? Not just a blessing of promotion, he was held in high esteemed by many fellow Jews. So here he was, uh, he was uh, uh, promoted. He God gave him a prestige among his 
fellow Jews. He was held in a high esteem. Uh, and then uh, that's something that God can give us. God can move us from the present place to a high place. And he can do it in our lifetime. He can do it in his time. And that's something he can do. He, God can give us esteem by among our fellow brothers and sisters. And that's something God is able to do. But what is the condition for this promise? Okay, uh, there are three conditions. First condition, when we carefully study the life of Mordecai, he, he was a man who worked hard. He worked hard. If you read Esther chapter 2, 21 to 23, there were two people, Bigtana and Teresh, two guards, maybe guards like him, who were, instead of trying to protect the king, they were trying to conspire to murder King Xerxes. Okay? This was uh, the greatest king alive at that time. The man who uh, ruled from Susa, which is part of modern Iran, uh, uh, Xerxes's grandfather Cyrus had sent a batch of Jews back to uh, give them permission. He was a man who loved people of other religions and other faiths, and he allowed them to practice their faith and religion peacefully. And, and that's something which we pray for in our, uh, when we pray for the election, that God would give us somebody like Cyrus, who would, uh, someone who will respect the religion of the minorities. Uh, uh, and then that was his grandfather, but and Xerxes is, is the king who was so powerful in Susa in modern Iran. And, and uh, there were some Jews who did not go back and they stayed back. Mordecai was one of them. Esther was one of them. And here there were two guys trying to finish off the king. But Mordecai heard about that plot, informed Queen Esther, and Queen Esther informed the king and the king's life was saved. And what Mordecai did was written in the record, which means... Mordecai was good at his core job. Mordecai was a hard worker. So God will raise you up. You could be at the lowest rung, but God can take you to the top. God can give you high esteem among the people around you. The, the, the key is hard work. Core, you, you're competent in your core job. Here was his core job of protecting the king. He was, he was competent in that. He was good at that. Uh, usually when we see security guards, the, one of the things that we commonly see them do is they are sleeping on the job, literally sleeping. But that's not Mordecai. Mordecai is always, uh, his eyes are open. Not only eyes are open, his ears are open. He's listening. He's watching. He is doing his job. So hard work. That's, that's the first uh, condition for this promise. Second, bold talk. Not just hard work, bold talk. Uh, you know, there's another officer there, Haman. Mordecai does not bow before him. They say because Haman had an idol hang dangling down his neck. And um, Mordecai, being a Jewish man who believed in one God, did not bow down before an idol which was dangling down the neck of Haman. Uh, we do not know the, uh, the full story. But then uh, Haman gets irritated and he plans to completely wipe out the all the Jews in that foreign country of Iran, and uh, he was ready to even pay for it. He was even ready to pay for it. Uh, and the plans are on the anvil, uh, and uh, the king is passed out the order. But that's time when Esther seems to be strangely silent because she has not told anyone that she's of the Jewish race. And then uh, Mordecai makes this bold talk, not only hard work, but bold talk, Esther chapter 4, verse 14, if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place and you and your father's, you and your father's family will perish. That means he's asking Esther to go and speak up and be bold, go to the king. And then, of course, we know Esther eventually received this missionary challenge and she went to the king, even though it was not her turn to actually visit the king. And we know the rest of the story. So bold talk. So hard work and bold talk. Hard work, uh, you know, uh, hard work is when we go and share the gospel with the person who, is, who seems to be so close to the gospel and you go share the gospel with them. And then uh, bold talk. And when that person says, 
I believe in all religions, you defend the uniqueness of Jesus. You in, defend the uniqueness of Jesus by saying Jesus is the way. And even though you don't, you will not be popular for saying Jesus is the way, but you still, you know, stick your neck out and say Jesus is the way. You don't, you're not a head nodder to pluralism. When people talk, pass on pluralistic remarks, all religions are one of the same. You don't nod your head, but you, you, you stick your neck and say, may I say, that Jesus said he is unique and you must choose to decide whether he said the truth or he was lying. I believe he was saying, speaking the truth because he gave so and such and such proof. And um, you must also examine the proof and also make a, cho a choice about Jesus, whether Jesus was, was speaking the truth or whether he was a liar. All right. Not only bold talk, not only hard work, and finally, the right attitude. Uh, and this uh, condition comes not from uh, uh, Mordecai, but from Haman, uh, because in Esther chapter 5, verse 10 and 11, the Bible says this about Haman. Haman got a promotion, uh, uh, and we will not go into this, uh, all, the all the reasons why he got a promotion as well. And he gathered his friends, his wife, and he boasted to them, the Bible says in Esther chapter 5, 10 and 11, about his great wealth, his many children, I mean, uh, amazing this guy is boasting about his, the many children that he has uh, as if uh, he he fathered all those children just by his his uh, power uh, it is god who gives us kids all right and he bragged about his honor the the king had given him and he and and how he got promoted over all his nobles but that's something you read all the 10 chapters of esther you will not find what they are doing so Mordecai had the right attitude. He was humble. Uh, we were praying for the elections. And we remember two kings who were very boastful. Pharaoh in the Old Testament and Herod in the New Testament uh, in Acts chapter 12. Both of these boasters, they lost their lives in very dramatic situations. Uh, so that's something that God hates. So what do we do? We work hard. We do bold talk. But we also have the right attitude of humility. If we get a promotion, we always deflect praise to God. So that's God's promise for us this month, especially on this May Day, that God is able to, we may be at the rock bottom of our organization, but God is able to lift you up to the heights in this side of eternity, if it is his will. On, even on this side of eternity, it happened with Mordecai in a foreign country so far away. Uh, from his uh, uh, from his home nation of Israel, in in Susa, in, in modern Iran, you know, in a, in a foreign nation, God is lifting up this guy to the top, and what the secret is hard work, bold talk, and the right attitude. And so that's God's blessing for you. Receive it, and let's go into a time of prayer. Lord, we pray that everyone here, Lord Charles and Lawrence and Hannah and Carolyn and Talita, Lord Cynthia, Dale, Jaziel, uh, Malnyaka, Rupa, Anu, Lord Namrata, Sam, Jebestein, Amy, uh, Chelsea, Mercia, Rena, Lord, uh, the anonymous person, a uh, couple of them, Lord Shirley, all of them, Lord, I pray, Lord, I pray that you'll raise them to the level that you want them to rise. And I pray that, Lord, all of our lives will be filled with hard work. Lord, we will show competence in the core job, whether it's banking, whether it's teaching, whether it's uh, whatever, oh Lord, we will be competent in that job. Oh Lord, we will not sleep on that job. Lord, we'll do bold talk. We will be witnesses for you. Lord, when in a pluralistic, pluralistic atmosphere where everybody says Jesus is one of the ways, we will stick our neck out and say he is the way and we'll talk about the prophecies he fulfilled. Lord, and the, this pure life and so on and so forth. And Lord, I pray that we will also have the right attitude of humility. We will not be brash. We will not be arrogant. And I pray that you'll, Lord, as we as we have this in our life, Lord, you will, Lord, you'll give us prominence. You'll give us popularity. You'll give us promotion, all three of which you graciously gave Mordecai, Lord. Thank you that you're able to do that. And Lord, I pray for all the people who have mentioned their prayer needs, Lord, uh, uh, I pray that you'll do a miracle for them. Lord, uh, even, uh, Lord, uh, uh, we pray for the pre-diabetic condition of 
Lawrence, I pray that you will heal him and you will give him a change in his lifestyle and you will give him the, the, the willingness and the, and the determination uh, through your spirit uh, and this diabetes will be controlled and be healed, O oh Lord. Uh, we pray that Dale will have a wonderful graduation for the glory of his name and you will tell him uh, glory of your name and, and you will tell him what he needs to do next. Lord, we pray for uh, Lord uh, uh, Talita's uh, uh, son as he writes neat on May 5th. Let him, I pray that he will do well and I pray that uh, you you will use him as a powerful Lord doctor in a needy place to glorify your name and you'll train him for that. Oh Lord, we thank you. Lord, even we pray for Malnyaka, the letter that she sent, oh Lord, which is uh, taking a long time to reach. I pray that you'll do a wonder and, and that letter will reach. Lord, we thank you for using Charles in, his, uh, in CMC Hospital uh, through his musical talent. I pray that you'll bless him. Lord, we pray for good health uh, for, Cyn for Cynthia. We even pray for good health for Shirley's mom. And there are others who have wanted to share testimony. Lord, we even pray for uh, uh, Lord uh, Hannah uh, and that this house be completed this month and she'll be able to have the housewarming for the glory of your name. Lord, uh, we thank you for Rupa who's celebrating her birthday on 8th May. Thank you for bringing her to a, this birthday month. Bless her, O oh Lord. Uh, may he, she fulfill the purpose for which you made her to know you and to make you known. We thank you, Lord. Uh, we pray for Lord every other uh, uh, prayer request mentioned. Lord, we pray for a re reunion of uh, reunion that is uh, uh, that one of us is asking for this spouse. I pray that that will happen. Lord, we thank you for everyone who's present, O oh Lord. I pray that you'll bless us with this a blessed month where we will see promotion, where we will see prominence, where we will see popularity, not for our sake, but for the sake of the kingdom of God, O oh Lord. And we will show forth hard work. We will show forth, we, we will, Lord, we will do bold talk. And also we will have the right attitude. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ, name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, such a joy to connect with each one of you. Uh, and uh, if there's anyone who just wants to share one testimony, I can give you a chance now. A uh, or a prayer point. Yes. I think we are sharing both uh, simultaneously. That's all right. I do. Hi, Ivan. Yeah. I know you are. Hi, hi, hi. I just wanted to praise God that after I think almost more than two years, I got an increment at my work this one. So so I just want to give him all the glory because I think last two years it was a struggle with medical and this thing. So they didn't consider giving anything, but this time I got a nice surprise. So I just want to give all God the glory for sustaining, providing everything we need. So I think. So Thank you a, for your prayers. Yeah, such a joy to hear that as well. Uh, uh, an increment for Anu in our, in our workplace. Uh, God's uh, financial blessing. Uh, yes, we know Anu from the year two thousand one, when the year I married the van, and she was there part of the youth uh, church which I led in Delhi. She's also part of our board. Such a joy to hear this testimony from her. 